Hello everyone, today we are going to learn the box strategy of division. The box strategy is a strategy I just learned in the past couple of years and it has quickly become one of my favorites, so I hope you really like it too. So let's look at an example. 347 divided by 9. Remember that 347 would be our dividend or what we're breaking apart or sharing. Our 9 is called our divisor. That's what we are, how many groups we are breaking up into. So our first step is going to be to draw a box. When we draw our box, our divisor is going to go on the outside. So I wrote my 9 on the outside on the left. And then I'm going to break up my dividend. I'm going to write each digit spread apart into the box. And I'm going to separate each digit with a line. When we're doing the box strategy, this is not like the area model, so it doesn't matter how much space we take up. We're just breaking up the digits so that it helps us stay organized. Notice I did not break them up by place value either. There, it's not the value of the digit, it's just the digit. So I have my divisor on the side, my dividend broken up by digits inside separated by a line. Now we're set up and we're ready to go. So the first step that I always do is I list my multiples of my divisor on the side. When I list my multiples, it helps me have an easier time when I divide. Remember that multiplication is the inverse operation of division. So multiplication is going to help us solve division problems. So I always start by listing my multiples. Okay, so my first step is I'm going to look at one digit at a time. And I'm going to ask myself, how many groups of nine can I make out of three? So if I had three pieces, how many groups of nine could I make? So I'm going to come over and look at my multiples. Hmm, three is too small. It's smaller than my smallest multiple. That tells me that I can make zero groups of, of nine out of three. So I'm going to write zero, my answer, up on the top. Okay, my next step is going to be to multiply. So I'm going to take the zero and I'm going to multiply it by my divisor on the outside. Sometimes I draw my little x here so that I remember to multiply. 0 times 9 is 0. So I write my product underneath my digit. Now I'm going to subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay. My difference, I'm now going to slide up into my next box. So I'm taking my 3 and I'm sliding up here next to my next digit. So now I have 34. I'm going to start again. How many groups of 9 can I make out of 34? Let me look at my multiples. Hmm, I'm going to try to get as close as I can. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. Hmm, can I make three groups or can I make four groups? Remember, I want to get as close as I can without going over. So 36 is too much. I don't have 36. I only have 34. So I'm going to do three groups. So I'm going to put my three groups up on the top. And then I'm going to multiply. Three times nine is, let's look at our multiples, 27. So I write my product, 27 underneath and then I subtract 34 minus 27 is 7. My difference I'm now going to slide up to my next box. So I'm sliding that 7 up to my next box next to my next digit. Now my new dividend is 77 and I'm going to ask myself how many times or how can I fit 9 inside of 77 or how many groups of 9 can I make with 77? So again, I look at my multiples. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 63, 72, 81, 90. I'm going to try to get as close as I can without going over. I think I can make 8 groups because 72 is as close as I can get to 77 without going over. So I'm going to write my 8 up on the top, and then I'll multiply. 8 times 9 is 72. I write my product underneath. 72 is my product. After I multiply, my next step is to subtract. 77 minus 72. 
my answer would be five. Hmm, I want to slide it up, but I have no more digits to slide it up next to. I have no more box. So that means this is my remainder. So I'm going to write it up on the top. So my answer to 347 divided by 9 is 38 remainder 5. That means I would have five leftover pieces if I split up 347 into nine groups. I'd have 38 groups or 38 pieces in each group with five left over. Notice I don't have a plus sign here, so I did not add them together. This is a three in the tens place and eight in the ones place. I have zero hundred. So you've now learned the box strategy of division. If you have any questions, please let me know.